Hey YouTube, Mark Emerson here. And in this video, I'm gonna go over some of the books that I've been using to learn electronics. Gonna kind of tell you how some have helped me more than others. Uh, we're gonna go through all these, although I ha honestly haven't read all of them yet. But first, let me give you a little background about myself so that uh, if you're interested in uh, learning electronics and you're looking at books, uh, maybe that'll help a little bit. So I started learning electronics back in the 70s. My dad was an electronics teacher, and so I had a big interest in it. Uh, but then I, when I went off to college, instead of becoming an engineer, I went into business, became a CPA, became pretty successful at that. And now I'm getting ready for retirement, so I'm kind of going back into back into electronics. So, and before, uh, it kind of in the middle there, uh, the CPA profession was going heavy into computer consulting. And so I did learn uh, programming, uh, pretty good C++ programmer, or at least for somebody that doesn't do it professionally, along with uh, quite a few other languages. So I'm, I'm pretty good with programming. So this whole, this whole thing started when I discovered uh, the Adreno. And when I learned uh, the Adreno, I was kind of excited because I could do things with electronics without having to really know electronics. Because uh, with the Adreno, you can program and build circuits with, without having to really know what you're doing. So, uh, so I really enjoyed that when I first got started, but then I quickly realized I'm missing out in the electronics part. So, so I bought this book and uh, I really, really enjoyed this book. Uh, basically, it kind of goes through how to interface the Adreno and also teaches basic Adreno, but uh, with uh, electron electronics. And so it's not, you're not just plugging in various sensors. Uh, you're actually kind of learning how things work, uh, how to do some of the math, um, so I really, really enjoyed this book. Uh, but by the time I was done with it, uh, then I was thirsty to start learning. So this was the next book. And I actually bought this book back in the 90s um, when I was interested in electronics. Um, I really, really like this book. Uh, I, I don't think it's too outdated. Um, this book is pretty heavy on theory, but in an easy way to understand it. Uh, and uh, lots of math uh, with questions and, you know, at the end of each chapter, uh, they've got, uh, let's see if we can flip to one here, uh, some questions just so you can kind of see if you really learned what you were reading. Um, <clears throat> And even though this book uh, may be a little bit uh, outdated, I know this is still available, and I really, really enjoyed this book. So uh, what happened, though, is I read through this book without doing any of the experiments. So, and I'm pretty good with math, and so as I'm reading the math, I'm like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And uh, uh, but then when I go to when I went to actually do something uh it was you know it, it didn't wasn't turning out the way i thought it was and i realized i didn't really know the math i understood it but i didn't know it so that's when i started looking for another book this is the book everybody recommends um this is i you know like the bible of electronics i guess uh very very theor uh a lot of a lot of theory in this book a lot of practical stuff. I haven't read this book yet. Uh, I've read sections of it as I'm trying to learn something, and then I want to. I looked into this book. This is actually uh, uh, there's a third edition, uh, but this book is very expensive, and I'm kind of just doing this as a hobby, so I don't want to spend a lot of money. So I found this used version. My hope is by the time I'm all done with the rest of these, I'm going to. Uh, uh, dig into this book and uh, hopefully really learn something. So after this book, I found this one because I thought I need something that's practical that I can use uh, just to really learn electronics. And uh, this book's a pretty good book. Uh, it goes a little bit more into theory than uh, what I really thought it was going to go into based on the uh, the title. Um there are some math problems or math errors in some of the problems. Some of the problems have errors. 
um, which which can kind of as you're trying to work through it, you're like, wait a minute, this does, this isn't making sense. Um, but I actually just finished this book. Uh, while I was working on this book, I set up experiments. Uh, so I could actually learn uh, what they were talking about uh, pretty much all, uh, most of the way through the book. So I would recommend this book, and this was not super expensive. I forget how much it was. Uh, uh, probably doesn't say $40, but I don't think I paid $40. I think it was 30 something. So, uh, so I'd recommend this one, but don't get frustrated if uh, you're working through some of the math and you, the, what they're, I mean, the actual example in the book was off a little bit on a couple of them, but I still highly recommend this one. And then as I was researching, cause I just I hate to spend a lot of money. Somebody recommended getting, uh, uh, the ham radio, uh, handbook. And I think they, they, uh, publish these every year. Maybe it's every couple of years. I'm not sure. My dad used to be a ham radio operator. In fact, when I was a kid, I tried to learn Morse code so I could get mine. That was back when you needed Morse code. Um, but I'm a terrible speller. So I never got through Morse code. But the, the nice thing about this one is it, um, it it's obviously heavy on uh, the radio side of electronics. Uh, but they jump through the theory. There's there's a couple of chapters uh, that that cover basically the same things I'm learning in some of these other books, but geared a little bit more towards radio, which I'm not super interested in, uh, but I feel like I need to learn this. And the nice thing about this, as you can see, it's old. I just recently bought it. Is you can find used versions of this online, like on eBay, for you know basically what they probably paid to ship it to me. So uh, so I like the fact that this one is super cheap and I've read, uh, oh, kind of like with this one, when I'm trying to figure something else, I've jumped in here uh, to read a little bit. And then my dad gave me this book recently. This is the book he learned. <laughs> I think this was published in 1960. Um, yeah, dad used to teach electronics. And I'm looking forward to reading this one, uh, but he re he re just gave it to me not too long ago, so I haven't gotten into it. So those are the books that I've found helpful. Uh, if you've got some that, uh, that you recommend, go ahead and put them in the comments because uh, uh, I love uh, reading. And, and a lot of people say, well, you should just, you know, today you should just look things up online. You don't need a book. Well, the problem with that is, is if you're trying to learn something, you you look that up, you learn about that, but you don't learn about the things that are off to the side of it that you missed because uh, you know you're you're just learning what you're interested in, and I think it's uh, uh, important to get to kind of a broad knowledge. So anyway, those are my thoughts on the books that I've read. Yeah, or actually, I've read a lot more than that, but these are the ones that I'm currently excited about. And like I said, uh, if you have any comments or questions, put them in the, uh, down in the description. I'll try to answer them. And as always, thanks for watching.